Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. As some of you have requested, uh, I will be doing a small video about my account overview because I hope people keep asking during the streams and in comments uh, to show me, to show my 6 star roster and just account in general. So, he so here goes, we're going to be starting off with champions, we're going to be taking a quick look with 2 star champions. There is nothing too much to see there. I do, don't do Marvel Insider, so I don't have all these newest two-star champions, but I do try to max out most of my two-stars. Well, all of them anyways, but just been a bit lazy recently. I do need to start farming daily basic catalysts again, because I have been falling behind with my three-stars as well. As you can see, I think I have about seven, eight three-stars I need to max out still. So that's going to take a bit of work. But aside from that, we have most of them maxed out. That's not too bad. And most of them are Sig 99 as well. So are my 4 stars. I think there's like under 10 3 stars and under 10 4 stars that are not maxed out Sig. Anyway, so we're quickly jumping in on my 4 stars. I believe I have about uh, 50, 51 max 4 stars, but I have stopped really ranking them up. Only very kind of uh rarely i do decide to max out a four star for no good reason but it still takes eight tfi basics to max out a four star so that's like to me that's just like too much investment for what you get in return so i do tend to focus and rank three in my five stars anyways yeah so there are our four stars uh, we have quite a few of them i think we have most of them Right, and now we're jumping in on my 5 stars. I have 8 maxed out 5 stars. Corvus, Sabertooth, Blade, Sentinel, Medusa, Magic, uh, Quake and Hyperion. I would have to say my favorite one's probably Magic, but Quake is getting up there. So obviously I have done some rank ups for Alliance War Defense, like Sentinel and Medusa were prim primarily meant for Alliance War Defense, so is Sabertooth. Like those Sabertooth and Sentinel also have great prestige, so that's working out fine. And then uh, after our 8 rank 5s, I do believe we have about 14, 15 rank 4 5 stars. Uh, basically everything up until Guillotine is rank 4. I uh, need to show off a Ghost, because Ghost is one of the champion I definitely kind of want to practice a bit more. I ranked 4 Ghost like a while ago, just because kind of thing, but I haven't really had time to practice her much. So hopefully in future you guys are going to be able to catch me on some streams, testing out Ghost live, getting some tips and tricks and just learning to play her, because she ha does have quite big skill cap. So... Then if we go below, so everything starting from Phoenix uh, is rank 3, and we have quite a few of them. Oh, <laughs> here's fun things that kind of like chuckles me up. I have a Sig AT Kang. I have not used Awakening Gem on him or any signature stones, it's just all natural dupes. So I think everything up until Darkhawk is rank 3, and then we have like few older War champions I don't really want to bother with. You're gonna notice I have She-Hulk and spider Gwen at rank 1, so hopefully the new uh, buff, buffs they are getting are quite decent and we're gonna rank 3 and 4 of them some point soon in the future. And now let's jump to my 6 stars. I have 18 6 stars, uh, 3 of them are duped, Luke Cage, Rocket Raccoon and Winter Soldier. Rocket Raccoon is double dupe and I'm definitely not happy about that. Luke Cage and Winter Soldier I'm not too fast about, they are quite decent. Uh, Winter Soldier is actually one of my favorite 6 stars, I really like also my Killmonger. But I, as, you have, as you can see I haven't had much luck in 6 stars to be fair, but we still have like Morningstar, Sentinel, Massacre, Iron Man, Infinity War, um, Mephisto, Winter Soldier, Killmongers are decent, but we have quite a few junky ones as well. And then we can quickly jump in my items, check out I have uh, one generic 5 star awakening gem, and then we have two mutant ones, one skill one, one science one, and one mystic one. And then there's nothing too special in there, just like a bunch of boosts and stuff. We are pretty much maxed out on most of the classes uh, with 5 star signature stones, except for tech and mutant, because the last two champions I used my stones on were sentinel and sabertooth to get some to max sig. I also have rank 3 to 4 uh, Mystic rank up gem, 
we're kind of like saving that one for Doctor Strange. Uh, if we pull him and maybe if Scarlet Witch comes out. Uh, so there's nothing too special in here. We're gonna go to our catalysts. Um, we can see I still have a bunch of tier two alphas in overflow. I think I'm like on 18 or something like that. Uh, I don't know, tier two alphas are coming quite fast recently. So anyways, we still have three tier five Bs. So it means we can still uh, rank up someone more before uh, new AW season, which we probably will, maybe for defense, we'll see. Uh, we're max on most things that we kind of care about. And anyway, there's nothing too special in my crystal stash, just some like bunch of War Victory crystals. I'm saving the map 7 crystals for a bigger opening at the end of the week to see how we do for a week's worth and hopefully get some TFIBs there. So subscribe and stay tuned for that video. It's going to be quite interesting to see. And then we have like 120 unopened 5 star signature stone crystals because we're maxed up on most of them. Anyway, that's pretty much my account. I'm just going to say that uh, well hopefully you liked it here i'm just sh quickly showing up that i have 495 champions in total and 3.65 uh, million hero base rating and yeah it's quite decent but i have been kind of like slacking lately hopefully i start ranking up more champions soon i have 35 alliance war mvps but they don't really mean much especially because i'm doing map uh, path 5 in alliance war so it's hard for me to get the mvp uh, but yeah that was the video, hope you liked it guys, and if you did, feel free to subscribe, like and share it about. This channel definitely will have some interesting things coming about, I can't wait for the war season to start and post some war videos. But yeah, thank you very much guys, and see you next time.